Both teams come into this one riding high after back-to-back -back wins. Mr. Vitale, this third-round game should prove to be a tight one between the Baylor Bears and the Arizona Wildcats. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Wildcats are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First of all, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. And finally, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. And the ball goes out of play. fake high post player flashing alley -oop. and up basket falls despite the contact pushing that basketball he was applying great pressure defense went for the steal but he wound up with a personal foul instead if you get the steal you're a hero but you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal there's the block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He fakes the shot. Number 43 with the fake. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Way off target. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Trying to pack it inside. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. Side. Gave it up. Here Got a nice screen. Takes the shot. Knapp was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block from the top of the key. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. Takes away the pass. I'll tell you what. Coach may have been like the mascot for the tryouts next year. That guy's got great jumping ability. Did you see him after the last dunk? What a high riser. This guy wants the blood. Fed the low block. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He'll regroup the offense. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Inside. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Fires away. Makes the shot. 
some room. Set that screen away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Easy one. Knapp is emotionally pumped up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity and it really converts an offensive transition. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. The shooting guard takes the pass. Tries for two. Doesn't go. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Count it. The small forward with the ball. From right in the circle. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. And the ball goes out of play. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the dribble as they reset. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Inside, the power forward gets the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Strips the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Looking for the foul, and he scores it off the glass. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He fouled him. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The frustration right there. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Turns it over. The point guard takes the feed. Puts up the shot. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Look at that spacing. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. 
makes it. They scored nine in a row. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. The center gets the pass. Tries to get the D to bite. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Looking for contact. He gets the shot to fall. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Here's a double team. Stolen away. With a bucket. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Rod. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. There goes a twine. Watch the replay, Brad. On the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Got it. Side. Defense taking away any open looks. The shot from the baseline. Gets it to go. For two, Arizona has put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. a three. Scorches the net. Great anticipation defensively. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's the screen up on top. Takes the pass in the paint. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries a three. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's the pick. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Shoots from right of the circle. Tickles the twine from downtown. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Both teams looking to get things going here. 
working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? Controlling the ball. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Gave it up. He pump fakes. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Entry pass in the paint and he scores despite the hack. It rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He puts it up, drains it. Sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he gets it to fall. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you the defense. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, what a strip, Red. For two. That was nice. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains it. Dribble gives it up. He uses the shot fake. With a little baby hook. I'll tell you, a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He launches a three. It's good. Gave it up. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, picks off the pass. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. In the paint. Fakes the jumper. Fakes the shot. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific And play. has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Perfectly executed. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fakes it. Defensively down on low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Woo! 
Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He dragged the defender into the screen, but can't drop the bucket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. He goes to the line, shooting two. First one is no good. Second one, no good. On the outside. They move it into the front court. Arizona are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Picks off the lazy pass. Gives it up. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Steals a pass. The ball goes out of bounds. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Has a nice look at the basket. High post flashes. Goes for the deep one. He hits the shot. Defensive play anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. When you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Long down court pass. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Steel defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Gave it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. the dribble gives it up picked out of the air he's got some room he takes the shot off the baseline Brad if they were smart they'd go two for one looking for a good shot lets it fly off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop 
step in. Oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They get out on the break. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. For three, he buries the shot. At halftime, the Wildcats lead by 14. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Arizona is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high-percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Strouser was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Jumped in front to take it away. Tinsley is down emotionally right now, Dick. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the fake. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Shot's there if he wants it. Launches away. Shot off. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up from way outside. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Makes the shot. They work.
working around the perimeter. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He strips him clean for the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. They need to get them the ball there. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He fires away, buried it. Somebody inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Gave it up. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. He takes it away. For two. Gets it to fall. On the outside. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket, the lay -in. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They'll work it around the arc. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. And he scores despite the hack. It on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Bailey handles the feed from three-point range. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Trying to draw some contact. Number 54 with a finger roll. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The ball goes out of play. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Tickles a twine. Picked off. Goes up for two. 
I thought it was a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Great defense. Pushes it. The ball goes out of bounds. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. With a deep shot from outside. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And a momentary look from three-point land. He does the sweet fake shot. He's got a nice shot fake. Jump hook from the low post. And he missed. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the key. Drains it. There's the trap. Takes it off him. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. They get that rejected. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. He tries the three ball. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Nice fake. Here's a double team. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The Pac-10 has been and continues to be a solid conference. You can always expect a fast-paced style of play. I love being out there on the West Coast, not to mention the exciting brand of basketball that they play out there. in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. The shooting guard handles the pass. Makes it. The Bears are behind by seven. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from the top of the circle. He launched that from the parking lot. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. With a quarterback pass. And the jam. Picked out of the air. Knapp receives the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stolen ball. They get it out into transition. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He rejects it. Makes the shot. A 
on the dribble, gives it up. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. First half, both clubs shooting well, rebounding well, hitting their free throws, not turning it over. And in the second half, that hasn't been the story for that one club anyway. Well, I think what happened at halftime, he really convinced his kids about really increasing the energy on a defensive side. Their energy is so much better. He intercepts it. There should be an easy bucket here. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. The lay -in. Tries for two. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Arizona are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He shoots from right of the circle. He makes the shot. Takes away the pass. Look out, here we go. For the bucket, with a layup. The Wildcats are up by 15. Gave it up. Pump fakes. Ball kicked out from the post. Number 54 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. With the fake. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He's money with the shot. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Flasher is open from three-point territory. Sinks the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Buries it. Here it is. It's stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket.
on the outside. On the dribble, gives it up, shoots it. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Bailey receives the ball. Will take the shot. He's money with a shot. Kicks it out. He launches a three. He nails the bucket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Court for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He comes away with it. Up and inside. Way out on top, gets up to make the block. Off the rim and no good. to pick up. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. That's what I call a celebration, Dick. Look at that tangle, Brad. That's great. The mascot's loving it. With the freebie. Gets it. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. He clears some space with a fadeaway. Rims out. They work the perimeter. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He shoots from long range. He is just lighting it up. Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. They're working around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. He lets it go. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBM, nothing but nylon. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. 
also team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. And the clock stopped with a foul. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooting. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. Makes the second. And timeout. like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Ten-point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep rolling. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Gets his second. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Count that as a personal foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. Gets the second shot. in order to stop the clock. With the free one. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He hits the second. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He unloads a three. Got it. And the clock stopped with a foul. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. Makes his first. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Makes the shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. It's a fast break possibility. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night game. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game.
Arizona makes it three in a row with an impressive third round victory. And the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.